So I got quite an amount of quite an abundance of stuff from when I did the for goodness sake. Are you having a laugh? Oh thanks. Something at least. Unbelievable. Absolutely. Oh got an emerald. Wow. Copper ore broken. Broken iron ore and an emerald. It may have been unheard of, which is practically unheard of, that you've you just don't get that small amount of stuff. That's it, I'm not making any more. That's annoying. That's the straw that broke the camel's back. <coughs> Can I do a rain dance? <coughs> oh, great. That tree was big enough to infect. Not anymore. He. Cool. So we'll put some of this into here. Some of that into there. Some of that into there. And I don't want you there. That was an accident. Fortunately, or not, depending on how you look at it, this isn't a one-to-one -one relationship that you get one of these out. You don't get one cobblestone to wander sieved, although you do get pretty close. You see, I sieved three pieces of... no, I didn't I sift six pieces of dirt, and I got enough for five pieces of cobblestone with a bit of stone left over, and I started off with a bit, so it's sometimes... it's, it's technically useless. But, I have noticed one very interesting thing, and it's, uh, there is an advantage and a greatness, and there is a disadvantage and not so greatness. I have got some seeds, which means I can grow wheat and I can make bread. The downside is I probably need water to stop them from despawning. So I'm going to take the gravel and make it sand. Whoopie doo. I've also got some apples, I think. While I'm not needing them, I'm going to put them away. Well, what have I got? Crushed iron ore. You know, all my Christmases have come at once in that one there. Ooh. Got some interesting stuff here. So is that um, lead? That's lead. Gold, iron, and I've got a Certus Quartz Crystal. It's a shame it's not charged. But we can we can cross that bridge when we get to it. Because Certus Quartz Crystals and... Oh, not again! Stop doing that! Ooh, ooh look a tree. Lovely. It's so, alright, keep doing that. Because charged Certus Quartz Crystals are going to be something that is quite a wealthy commodity. We're going to need quite a bit of it after a while. Oh, I don't need to make any more. Hey, look, smiley faces! Whee! Let's move this window out of the way of that. Go away, you're interrupting my recording session. In fact, don't go away because you're a very good friend of mine. But I will answer. I'll answer them later. So the reason I'm doing this is a little bit for complicated. Oh, for goodness sake. It's a bit complicated. But as you can see, sometimes wood falls off the edge. Sometimes it doesn't. The higher up the tree it is, the further it will fall. But if they, if I take... Oh, no! Stop being a moron. I'm digging the goings on. Even though it's not entirely square. Or anything. It's quite a cute layout. Now, here's an interesting thing. I think we could trick the game into giving us water. And it's going to take a bit of some prowess. Because I think I have grass seeds. Now, when I play... Yeah, I have. I've got some grass seeds. Now, when you have a big enough grass grassy area... Grassy? When you've got a big enough grassy area, I mean grassy area, um, the game will start spawning animals, cows, sheep and stuff. <laughs> but we have some very strange cows turned on, especially in the test server, where you could get liquid mushroom cows and vishroom cows and, you know, ones that give you liquid happiness and 
you know, the list of crazy just goes on and on, but if we could if we could cause the game to spawn a grassy area, and we can make a grassy area big enough by using the grass we're getting over here to make a massive area, then I think we could spawn a cow, which will give us a a byproduct that's water-like, as long as it's not liquid poison. And then we could start doing crazy things such as treating it like water, or doing things where the game will put things which it thinks is water into a water bucket, where it's not actually water, and it will... Let's, let's stop talking about the maybes and hows and whys of the exactitudes of what we want to do, and let's just physically see if it's possible. Because I've excited myself a little now. Um, so what I'm going to do is I need a bigger area than this. I'm actually going to take the bed. I don't need it. So I'm going to place my first bit of grass there. I'm going to place some more grass down here, and then I'm going to put some grass seeds on one end. There. Then I'm going to make more dirt. And I'm going to expand this small platform and see how big I need to make it before cows spawn. So here goes. So if you want to know what's happened, I've ran out of trees. Which means I've almost run out of leaves, and because I've almost run out of leaves I can't make any more Dirt. At least not as fast as I want to. So I am now investing some of my dirt into making more area. And that seems to make sense. And let's see how this goes. Also, this makes an advantage because if I'm just building more trees to get more space, I'm going to get more wood, and with more wood means more building material, and with more building material means I'm going to start just getting loads and loads of stuff and running out of space and big time and whatnot. It's all just a vicious circle of greatness, isn't it? I need more of something, and I build more of it, and because I build more of it, then... I need more of something else, therefore I need to have a greater amount of... You know what it's like. It's just going to get worse and worse. I'm going to get bad enough, then monsters will start spawning. Fortunately, that's also a badness I can get behind, because if I can get enough stuff out of monsters, I can start building further stuff. But the point is, I, haven't, I won't have a safe haven if it gets too big. So I'll need to spawn in... No, not spawning. Stop monsters from spawning in. So, but I'm back to needing the light sources again, and my only light source has fallen off the edge of the level. So, feeling grumpy in, on that respect. Fortunately, if, if a tree gives me 64 units of... Uh, gives me a whole stack of leaves, then that means I can make eight pieces of dirt, and fortunately from that I can put even more... Um, dirt on this platform, and because this dirt hasn't turned into... because this dirt hasn't turned into grass yet, I suppose I could put trees on this. Because, of course, planting a tree on grass will make the grass turn to dirt. If I plant it on the dirt, it won't change it. So I'll just do that. The grass has started expanding! That's exactly what I wanted it to do. And for those of you who are questioning, why am I building it on top of my wood area? Why am I, why am I not? Because 
one of the things that's going to happen when I build ultimately will be um, I want to build underneath this which would be why I'm getting the water or not only that but also to go down to the lower levels to I want to build below this and recover my deathbed um, but building on top of this is going to be a, a, a lot of an easier way of returning all this dirt to its natural wherever I want to put it, be it putting it through a sieve or making larger spaces. But yeah, I can understand why people will be going, yeah, why are you doing that? Right, it's just, it's just the way I do it. So anyway, yeah, as you can see, I've, put, I'm, I've now put most of my efforts into making this dirt platform in an awkward place. Um... It's ch it's fine, it's chilling. Um, I've got a thing to put down. I am going to die because I'm s think I'm going to start starving in a moment. And because I haven't got any water, I haven't put any f proper food down. Most of my food is coming from the trees, which I haven't been planting. I thought they haven't been growing fast enough. Oh, speaking of harvesting let's put so this is the oh we've got no wood never mind do now make two of these excellent or one of those now because these are oak trees you do get the advantage that they will spawn apples, as oak trees do. I don't have any on me, but I have plenty in my inventory somewhere. So I've got to replant the trees, because bearing in mind, like I've said before, when a tree spawns on top of an area which has grass on it, it turns into dirt because of the thing, because of the first, the, the base grass block. Uh, the base uh, tree would, I don't know, check the wiki. It does. So I'm going to have to move them all, anything that spawns on a piece of grass, I'm going to have to move it out the way. Which means eventually this whole area is going to be useless. It's all going to be grass. I hope. The first bit is always the, the worst, because with having one piece of grass and it having to expand everywhere, it's going to take some time without having to do something with the cheating and you're like turning up the tick rate. The, the random tick rate thing is going around the internet. I don't think this version of Minecraft supports such things. Such devious intentions. I'm not going to even go for full power health because, number one, not losing any health. Number two, don't particularly need a full hunger bar. Okay. Let's put more stuff in there. And I need to make another set of wood shears. I can't place that there, can I? Come back here. Sweet, this thing's just expanding out. I thought when, yeah, like I said, the first bit of grass is the worst to take because it's got so many areas to expand into and just the one bit, but now all the bits of grass are ticking, checking to make sure they can expand into other areas. It's going to be a lot more of a faster expansion. That was a weird sentence grammatically and listening to it. So hopefully I'll start getting some cows and they'll start giving me some milk. I'm going to have to start getting a bucket. That's going to be my next annoyance. I think I'm going to leave that like that for now. So 
I'm also waiting for these trees to grow because they, there is a potential that they could. Do I need any more? Yes, I always need more. Always. You'll never stop needing dirt. Especially when the harvesting becomes fully automated. At this rate, that could take forever. But believe me, it's a warm, fuzzy feeling when you get it. And now we start to wait. Hey, it may even rain. Who knows? If I've done, if I've gone through all this lot and it rains, I will not be best pleased. It's getting dark again. I don't think I'm going to. Now, do I want to expand this platform anymore? That's the question. I might spend some time putting some of my dirt through the sieve, making some cobblestone, and then seeing if I can't make some torches. That could be most beneficial. Can I pick that up? Yep. Yeah. Thank you. It's raining! It's raining! Yeah! I've got water! I don't need to do the cow thing anymore! However, I do need now to get a whole lot of dirt, which is quite useful. So you'll have to excuse the sound, because I have absolutely nowhere to hide from the rain. <laughs> so now, this has changed everything. I need to make a bucket. And there are several ways of making a bucket in this version. As you can see here, I've got broken iron ore. I've got some coal! Great! That's what I need. So I'm going to put the coal on with my sticks, and then I'm going to torches. That's the obvious Minecraft way of doing it. And I'll make this place look bright. So, stuff this area, let's grow some trees on it. I've got these, I've got four full of water, that's pretty much all I need. Who cares about anything else? Now, it's taken a lot less time to get <laughs> to get rain on this than it did on my test server. Let's put it this way, on the test uh, level. Now, there is this fired pot thing. Um, this one. It's fired clay bucket. I can't remember how they're made. I need clay. Which, believe it or not, is a lot harder to get than you think. Although, I think you can get it through s sieving, so... You know, it's this what goes around comes around mentality going on here. Anyway, I have one piece of... So correct me if I'm wrong, I'm trying to find... Uh, uh, um, I'm trying to think. There is a way of making clay, and I can't remember what it is. Off the top of my head. I know what it is. And it's going to require me to make a few extra barrels, but that's alright. And I've got to be quick about it, because it's raining. And to be honest, I need all the rain I can get. So I'm going to put these two here and here. That's going to stop the trees from growing. I very much don't care. Sorry, might stop the trees from growing. They better not grow, though, because I need them. Oh, and this tree has grown. And this, this means now I've got to do something rather special. 